survivors i want to do a quick video just to show you what i do how i get all my stuff and just basically go through absolutely everything i can think of that's going to help you out as a new player um from finding food melee weapons guns how to load the guns just everything i can think of making fires indoor and out keeping dry so without further ado let's go through it but there may be some bits I miss, but that's because the game is so big. There's so many different things you can do, but when you know these basics, you'll pretty much know how to do anything, and you can start doing your own little things. When you know how to combine items, uh, you can just come up with your own ideas. For example, pick a baseball bat up, combine it with uh, the wire or nails, and it will combine the baseball bat into a nail bat. But anyway, let's get started and show you from the beginning. Uh, the first thing I would say is don't sprint around because as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, my food and water's going down one arrow. The moment I start running, it goes down by two, three. So it goes down three times quicker. The last thing you wanna do is start running out of food and water, you die. Another important factor is your heat. As you can see, the arrow's up now, it's quite a nice day. If it starts raining, well, I'll go for that later. Your best, your best bet is just making sure your clothes are constantly, um, constantly in pristine or warm condition. Anyway, the first thing I do is get my bearings. You don't always uh, spawn on the coast. You can spawn. There's a lot of spawn zones, and sometimes you can be in the middle of the woods. You don't know which way the coast is. You don't know which way the town is. The first thing I do is the coast is always sun. Uh, the sun always seems to be pointing south and obviously it goes then from east to west. So if the sun's up like that, I just head for that, you get to the coast. I'm obviously going to sprint around because I wouldn't normally. But I'm going to just for this uh, video to show you. Right, we're in Camby Wobo. The next thing I do obviously is get this main road. If you stick on the main road of the coast, no matter which way you go you'll eventually get to a town and you find these signs can be wobo so now you can get your bearings right i need a melee weapon because there's infected there's other players around so it's really important that you've got something to protect yourself because as you can see by pressing the middle pad you've got nothing on your bar a glow stick a rag which is used to um, fix any cuts and a pair which is not really that useful i mean how long would a pair keep you alive in real life? Not long. So the first thing I do is check all the sheds. You'll notice that a lot of them are empty because there's other players taking everything. But I check all the sheds until I find a melee weapon. So let's have a look in the sheds. Already gunshots. If sometimes you can't see anything, press the middle pad and it'll tell you what's in the vicinity. You press L1 and R1 to navigate that. The vicinity is what's in front of you. The hands is what is obviously in your hands, and that is what's your equipment. You've got your jeans, which will hold things, which is there. You've got your hoodie here, which if I take off, they'll disappear. So they're all inside my hoodie. So I'm going to keep looking for this melee weapon. Let's get these sheds checked. Plus running around the infected will spot you a lot quicker, but for this video I'm not bothered. I'll fight them off. A lot of car doors. Right, we have a hatchet. That will do. Oh, and we've got a little fight. Right, L2. Aim for the head. And R2 to swing. What I do then is I put the hatchet so it starts you'll move away from the vicinity middle pad again move over to my hatchet and what I like to do is press the uh, left thumbstick in up on the right and put it there that's in your quick slot in inventory now why I do that is all you have to do instead of looking around all your stuff when you've got a lot is just press R1 press up there you go plus we've also now got something to open up our beans because the next thing I want to do after my melee weapon is find food and water. 
So I'm going to go uh, hide because obviously the game's a lot about stealth. And what I'm going to do is open the beans. So you put the beans in your hand. R1 again, move over to your hatchet and you'll see it says combine. Press to combine and it will open the tin. And then there you go, your beans are open. You don't have to eat them all, but why not? Right, next thing, water. Now, you can find bottles of water and canteens, but you don't want to be drinking them straight away so you have to find a fountain most towns have got them in you can find maps online or just have a look around and there's one here outside the police station walk up to it and it'll prompt you to drink and then just savor that sweet h2o You can also play this game in first person if you want by pressing the right thumbstick in. And back out. Right, now to change clothes. There's some clothes here. So I want that police jacket. As you will notice, my hoodie holds 20 inventory slots. The police jacket holds 30. So I put the police jacket into my hands move over to the hoodie swap them and then I want to move my items over so make sure you're on the hands section move down and then just press square and it will move them over to your inventory and then just simply drop the hoodie now let's see if we can find a gun it's a clip it's already got three in it for the uh, M lock so we'll try and find that now so we've got the clip for it we just need the actual gun we have a scorpion and it's got a silencer these are the attachments at the bottom and it's already got ammo in which is good so again I'm going to save it to my quick inventory press triangle while you're aiming to reload it and there it's in my quick inventory and it should attach to my back it attaches to your back the uh, bigger weapons, spades, things like that will attach to your back so you don't have to um, take up your inventory slots. So there we now have a gun to protect ourselves. Dry sacks are used if you want to keep your things dry. You can put items inside the dry sack as so. I'll put this glow stick in. Don't need to keep that dry but just so you get the gist. That's now in the dry sack, so if it rains, that will keep everything that's inside here will be dry. I don't want either of those though, so I'm not going to take them with me. Ammo, 9x19. How to open them, keep the ammo in your hand, unbox with R2. He drops the paper, I'm going to have that because I'll show you how to make a fire next. What you do then is get your clip from your jeans go over to the ammo combine and then it will load your magazine that magazine's now full put it back into my inventory so if I find the gun I've got the full clip for it in the middle of most towns you will find these little helpful maps so I can now see exactly where I am on here there's also the legend the key to the um, that will show you everything on the map if you need to find a hospital campsite bus stop anything you want to find is right there if I wanted to build a base I'd be looking on this map where I want to go you can also follow these signs these will show you where to go if one of these towns you want to visit 
follow the red trail. The red that is saying follow the red trail. So it's not just go to the right, it means follow the red trail. So if you go down here, eventually you'll see a red marker here. Then you have to follow these. Eventually that will turn off. Red marker. Just keep following them. Red markers here next. Quickly got down, but I don't think I evaded it. And red marker, so now I know that it's that way to tour that was on this signpost. Let's carry on checking. Ooh, we have a water bottle. Now it's already full of water, which they already are, and it, as you can see it says drink. I never drink it because it does make you ill. So look down and it will change to empty. Empty the bottle. That bottle is now empty. Go back to the water fountain and fill it up. There you go, we now have a full bottle of water for our journey to move to the next town because moving between towns without food and water is quite uh, deadly. If you need more rags because you're being cut quite often you can craft them by putting a knife in your hand looking down at a hoodie or any item of clothing really most will do it and there you've craft rags pick the rag up put it into your inventory I also put the rags in my quick slot it's just something I do personally so if I do get caught I can quickly do that right meeting other survivors let's see if he talks you press down on the d-pad to talk hello sir Do you talk? Do you need a gun? If you go in that Hello, house, mate. Hey, mate, if you go in the house, uh, I think it's either that yellow one there or the one there. I've yeah. left a shotgun in there and it's loaded as well. Hey, well how come the zombies are on this server? Uh, I don't know. Why are they not normally? No, because I was saying it's all modded. Because we've been on AK, there's a few of us on this one now. We've just been on AK1, but it's so laggy because everyone's spawning in Kami constantly. Yeah. Because that's the only spawn. Yeah, it's just, I were, it's too laggy, mate. So we tried trying this one out, but I were on one like out of a day or a nightmare when it kept lagging. Yes, it, it's it horrible, does, mate. There's so heading, many deaths, it? mate. It's stupid. Uh, you can have these guns if you want. There's nothing. Uh, there's no ammo in that one, but it sure looks pretty it decent. Yeah, take it. Yeah, away, just, mate. just give me this one, mate. I'll, I'll back with this one, mate. Yeah, sweet. Right, good luck yeah, to you then, I'll my man. I'm gonna try and find my guys now, mate. Yeah, mate. Take care on the video, Cheers, mate. Cheers, my man. Appreciate have a good it, one. All right, you take care, dude. And you, mate. And there you go. A lot of people aren't um, friendly on this actually, but uh, that guy was signed. Most people shoot on sight. Right, let's carry on. Right, I've got everything I want from that town. I'm going to run to the next one. Another little handy tip. Don't just look around like Axe, it'll turn your character. As you run in or walk in, if you want to look around, just keep your finger on um, L1. Now you can have a look around without changing direction. Right, let's quickly make a fire. If it's night time or raining and you want to get a fire indoors, this is just how you make them. Let's have a look. So, I don't do the trees. I'll aim for a, a bush or a small tree like this. There you go, got my little firewood. I'm gonna make it in this corner. How I do it, drop the firewood, combine it with rags or paper, or you can also get a knife, go over to a tree if you've got no rags or paper, and cut off bark. It's just pretty similar to making a fire in real life. Get your bark, rag, paper, whatever you've got. Craft fireplace.
you can then put the fireplace in your hands and put it wherever you want it to go wherever that will do now if you've got matches you just light it with the matches I haven't got matches so I get another piece of bark because I need to make a tool to light it put that in my inventory for now and I need some small sticks so I need a bush there we go small sticks put the small stick in your hand combine it with your bark keep going across with R2 until you see hand drill kit combine you've now got a hand drill kit pick up the hand drill kit walk over to your fire ignite it voila this is handy for cooking your food if I press for the vicinity again move over you can see the fireplace below with R2 you can attach tripods to it um, yeah cooking pots you keep adding fuel as so I'll show you how to add fuel if it starts going low pick up a small stick fire stick whatever press X on it move over keep going down until you get to the fuel drop the stick that's now added to the fire so that will be burning for quite a long time you do the same thing again cut these bushes until you get a long stick once you get a long stick you can move over to things like meat etc and cook them but I'll show you that when we get it but there you go that's your fire I'll leave that burning for somebody else let's go if it starts raining which it tends to do quite a lot you don't want to be out in the open really because the moment you start getting wet your temperature goes down your health goes down you'll last about five minutes if you're stuck in the middle of the woods you can get underneath trees and you don't get rained on a lot of the trees will protect you from the rain right doing as we did before to make a fire if you want to put one inside a house a lot of houses have fireplaces just go up to the fire place it in light it as you did before If you do find matches they're really handy if not just keep making these hand drill kits and voila you have an indoor fire you can cook on the shelf as well the difference uh, is with indoor fires smoke will come out of the house chimney so if you're wanting to stay stealth it's probably not the best idea but it looks cool and on the subject of uh, getting rained on, I'll quickly show you what to do when you get wet by jumping into the sea. Now if you can't get under trees, whatever, and you, you need to get dry, you can wring your clothes. So if any of my clothes are wet, which they are, put them into your hands, press R2, and it will wring them just enough. As you can see, my temperature's down, and if it stays that way my food my water my health everything will go down quicker I've dried them off put them back on my temperatures gone back up that's quite a handy little tip if you get caught in the middle of nowhere and it's raining get under the trees or inside a building and wring your clothes if you can't make a fire gotta keep dry next I'll quickly show you how to fix a cut I'll cut myself by putting my shoes in my hand so if I'm running barefoot, eventually she'll cut herself, she'll cut her feet. And you can see the fourth symbol along is your blood. If that starts going down, the screen will go grey. And you'll struggle to see much, really. There we go, she's cut. Get your rag. I've got it in my quick slot. Fix the cut. As you can see my blood's going down, now I've cut my feet, I've put my shoes back on, one rag, done.
my blood will now slowly go back up. You can also lock uh, the infected into buildings if you want. Just let him run towards you. If you get a lock coming after you, it's quite handy. If you've got like three or four, just shut the doors behind you. It's now locked inside that building. Somebody else's problem. If you're desperate for food, the best places to check, I find, is these little greenhouses. They quite often have tins of food in, which it does have today, aren't we lucky? Tins of food, you also get seed packets that you can grow your own. Uh, you might find vegetables in there, cans of pot. So they're quite handy to look in those first if you're desperate for the food. We have a compass, which I've just found. Now I can navigate my way. I want to move away from the coast, so I want to be going kind of northwest, which is this way. There you go, compass, very handy. I'll next show you how to cook food. We'll try and find a chicken or something like that that we can cut up so you can get food from that as well. Right, as you can see, I've managed to kill off this rooster. Go down to my knife, because you need a knife to um, carve animals. The skin and quarter the rooster. And I will also say you have to wash your hands after you have carved open an animal if you don't have gloves. Because if you get blood on your hands and you eat, you will get ill. So wash it in a fountain or use your own water bowl. There you go, and then it's just a case of grabbing your long stick, combine it with the chicken, and roast. And you just have to sit there until the circle does a full revolution. You'll see the chicken change colour, and it's cooked. Right, as you can see, it's raining outside. I've been caught in the rain. Food's now flashing. So, how do I survive this? First I'm going to wring out my clothes after I've had that bit of food to get my heat back up. You could also make a fire. Now I'm undercover. I find this is the quickest way because I want to keep going. Now dry. Let's have a bit of food. You will notice as well, depending what you use to open up, you can whether you use a knife. If you look at the bottom left there, I've lost a tiny bit of the food because I used a knife. If I used a spade or a pickaxe, things like that, if that's all you've got on you, you will sometimes lose up to a half a can of your food contents. So what you ideally want to find is a tin opener. When you find a tin opener, you will open up your food without losing any of the contents. Let's keep going. Obviously, if there's anything you want to know, just leave me, uh, leave me a comment and I'll reply on how to do it. Literally anything, I'll show you how to do it. But for this video, now it's dark. I've got a knock on the door in real life. I think it's pizza, which I can't say no to. So, I suppose my last tip will be to show you why you have to be careful where you shoot your gun. The infected will hear it. <laughs> Let's say goodbye to this uh, character. Good luck, survivors. I'll do another video at a later date.